Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. Today on the channel, I wanna share my thoughts, my ideas, my feelings about one image, one type of image. I'm standing in front of this basketball hoop and its shadow and I run in this area on the track that I'm adjacent to right now, every now and again. And every time I pass this area, it brings back great memories. You see, I played four years of high school basketball, uh, one year of varsity basketball, and through my late 20s and into, through my 30s and into my 40s, I loved playing basketball, whether it was in a gym or out in the playgrounds, such as this one here. This is what I did for a long, long time, and I really enjoyed it. I really loved playing. I love what the sport gave to me. It teaches you a lot of lessons, and I've been able to utilize those lessons in my life and be able to have a stick to towards certain things and, and follow through and stick through things when times are tough and things of that nature. So for me, that's what sports gave me, and especially basketball. But my main focus here is to encourage you to have feelings about certain images. Again, you're not gonna have feelings about all of them, but when you do have that one feeling about something, shoot it. And maybe it doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to, or you thought in your mind or your heart that it would turn out and feel a certain way, but that's okay. That's what photography is all about. It's telling a story, whether to other people or reminder to yourself as a snapshot in time about a certain point in your life that you want to remember and that's what this is doing for me right now. So I'm going to start off with a very underexposed shot. In fact, right now I am at 1 250th of a second. I'm at F4 ISO 100 and I'm focusing on the shadow and the pole area right now. But I do have the image in landscape view, the bottom of the frame is set at the base basically of the pole and the top of the frame is basically set at the highest part of the basketball backboard. So let's shoot this one off. I love this image because this is not a way you would normally take this image. Now I'm shooting it this way, underexposed that is, to show off the etherealness of it, the non-clarity of it. Now you wouldn't shoot an image this way per se. Obviously we want to dial in the exposure triangle, the shutter speed, the ISO, the aperture. But in this case, you're making art with your thoughts and a physical piece that you want to kind of put all together. So that's what I'm doing here. This image really speaks to me in this way. But I know that I can shoot it differently. So in this case, now I'm going to expose for more color and for the more originalness of the scene here, which we have a um, lightly colored beige background in that brick. We've got uh, blue skies. We've got an orange trim around the backboard. I'm gonna expose for those colors now. So let's see, my settings were 1 250th F4 ISO 100. What I'm going to do is bring the aperture up and close the aperture a bit. I'm going to go to F11. That's giving you nice color. And I'm actually going to speed up the shutter a little bit to close down the light a little more. That looks really nice. And I feel like it's giving me an appropriate scene or selection in terms of all the colors that are in this area. So let's go ahead and snap this one off. Again, I'm at 1 400th of a second, F11, ISO 100. All right, super. Next shot, same composition. So now what I'm gonna do is expose for the chain link fence and obscure the background so you just have a hint of the basketball hoop, the shadow, and so on. I'm in manual focus. So I'm going to keep the settings pretty much the same, but bring the chain link fence into focus. There we go. This is really nice. The chain link fence is in focus. Now I can, I can obscure it a little bit more. It's at F4, but let's shoot this shot as is. Same settings, 
as the shot just previous, but we'll go ahead and focus on the chain link. Here we go. So next, I really want to obscure the background. I'm gonna bring this down and open the aperture all the way up to f1.8, and we'll adjust the settings accordingly. All right, so we are now at f1.8, and I'm going to have to bump my shutter speed. That looks pretty good. I'm keeping at ISO 100, because that's as low as I can go, and now I'm at one eight thousandth of a second. So that's what I had to do to close down the light coming in and that provides us a big difference between f11 and f1.8 focusing on the chain link fence. So now what I want to do is I want to reverse the focus and put this on the background and the foreground element will be obscured. So Let's go ahead and get back to our manual focus ring. So now what we have in focus is the back part of the scene and the front, you just see some of the shadowing of the chain link fence, which looks really nice. Again, one eight thousandth of a second, F1.8, ISO 100. I think it looks spectacular. Another thing I didn't mention is we are in the middle of the day sunlight. So this is very harsh sun, but this is what I wanted. This is how I wanted to shoot. This is, I remember playing basketball in all types of weather, whether it was raining, sunny, and miserably hot outside, or foggy, or outside, inside, sweaty, humid gyms. It didn't matter. Basketball reminds me of a time when I was super happy and super engaged and just motivated to get better every day and just want to play for the love of the game. So just know that don't forget to go out and shoot in the middle of the day. Just find a subject that isn't a sunset or sunrise per se. If you know me, you know I love shooting sunrises especially and sunsets, but I love coming out and shooting shadows and unique images like this and images that most people probably wouldn't shoot because it doesn't relate or emote something in them. So is emote, emote's the right word, I think so, but produce a feeling inside of you. So this does it. So right now what I've done to change this composition a little bit, I've um, went into portrait mode and we're gonna shoot it with the focus on the back. In this shot, I incorporated a little bit more of the blacktop because that resonated with me when I used to play on the blacktops. It's a must have to have that in the shot. So now I'm gonna focus on the chain link fence and bring the focus back to the foreground. Okay, so I'm really enjoying these shots. We've got a few off now all with the same subject. So now as we stay in this area, the composition is starting to change without me having to even move my camera. And that's because the sun is actually putting some of the shadow in a different spot as it begins to move throughout the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the basket and the hoop or, and the net to be, to get more to the right between its own shadow of the pole and the actual pole or post and see if that net can actually get right between those two areas. And I think it'll make for a nice shot. It's starting to almost turn the backboard um, and obscure it in a certain way, just because that's the way the sun is moving from left to right above us. So let's just wait a little bit. And in the meantime, let me introduce you to the Comedy Minute. Why don't basketball players go on vacation? Because they're not allowed to travel. Why does Cinderella always fail at basketball? Because she's always leaving the ball. <laughs> All right, so now the rim has shifted over to the right between the shadow post and the actual post, kind of where I want it to be. I'll probably move the camera around a little bit, but what I got set up, I kind of went back to the original shot that I took earlier in this video and that is a very overexposed image. I just like how it looks. We're crushing the highlights. I'm not gonna be able to bring back any of, the, any of that data, so that's okay. 
that's what I want in this shot. So let's go ahead and get it. I'm at 1 80th of a second, F8, ISO 100. Focused on the back and the pole and the shadow. All right, a little bit different look than the last one in terms of the composition, but essentially I got what I wanted. I've got that kind of dreamy type look where really all I want is a hint of what I'm focusing on, and that's the shadow, the post, and the backboard, and the rim, and of course the net. Can I add anything else? <laughs> so now let's go ahead and bring back all of the natural color in the scene. Okay, so this looks like a pretty good composition. F8, ISO 100, but now I'm at 1 500th of a second, which brought back all of the natural blue, the, the beiges here, the very light beige here, the gray post, and so on. So we're looking good. Let's fire this one off. All right, now I'm gonna shoot two more images like we did before. We're at a different composition slightly. Okay, right about there, we got it focused on the chain link fence. So now we have the background obscured and this is looking really nice. So another slightly different look on this. We're gonna still focus on the chain link fence, but like we did before, I'm gonna open the aperture all the way up to F8 to really obscure the background now. I really like how much more obscure the background is at 1.8. And it's obvious when you're going to go from F8 to 1.8, you're gonna have a big difference, but I really like it wide open where we're just getting a portion of this chain link fence in focus. Really, it's really sharp here and it starts to soften out as it goes out, but the back is all soft and it's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so as I'm standing here, we're getting a lot more separation in the uh, shadow that is the post, the backboard, and the net, and the rim. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer as it stretches across that wall and really give us a nice separation or a centering of the rim between the shadow post and the real post. So yeah, let's just wait. In YouTube time, it won't take no time at all. It's joke time. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling on it. All right, so the shadow of the rim is in a perfect spot between the shadow post and the actual post. Let's go ahead and get it. I'm at one 64 hundredth of a second for the shutter speed, f1.8, wide open, ISO 100. <laughs> I love this shot. I love this shot and I love that you are hanging with me today. I appreciate it. Um, let me know if feelings ever come upon you when you're shooting photography, whether you're using a cell phone or whether you're pulling out a point and shoot, a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, what is it that makes you go out and shoot and give you that feeling? Hope you have an answer for me. I'd love to hear it down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a like if you liked any part of this video and ring the bell to notify you of new videos when they're posted. I really had fun here, y'all, and I loved sharing this moment with you guys. Until the next one, peace. Why aren't basketball players, why don't basketball players? Come on. Urgh. Why do not, why do not, why, why can't you just get, get yeah. Why didn't Cinderella like to, oh man. I can do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Go. It's not like basketball, it's, it's why doesn't she play basketball? Let me look it up on my phone. Can't even remember two jokes. I'm the joke. You just, you just, you just, you just. Of all the places, where's that bird? A bird just crapped on me. Oh my gosh. There's nothing even around.